A POLICE PURSUIT IN THE SOUTH BAY ENDS WITH A CRASH AND SHOTS FIRED. NOW A SUSPECT IS IN THE HOSPITAL. GOOD EVENING. I'M PETER DOUBT. AND I'M ELSA RAMON. A POLICE PURSUIT INVOLVING THE REDONDO BEACH POLICE ENDED IN GUNFIRE IN SAN PEDRO. KCAL 9 STACY BUTLER IS LIVE WHERE IT ALL ENDED. STACY. Yeah, also behind me, you can still see that truck with the door open. Police uh, still going through it, trying to figure out just how this all started. A chase from Redondo Beach to San Pedro that only ended when police shot the driver through the back of his window. Coming out here to set up, uh, you know, the decorations and stuff, and I was like, turn around, get back in the house. Neighbors say they heard screeching, gunshots, and police demanding the driver get out of his truck. The cops were running here, and they're you're literally sh like cocking their shotguns. So I'm assuming he had some kind of weapon. It's unclear if the driver in his late 30s had a weapon in the truck. Redondo Beach police started chasing him around 5:30 tonight when he sped off during a traffic stop, where officers had a reason to believe that he had committed a serious crime. We we're trying to coerce him to come outside, but he wasn't. But then I saw him come out. I heard something drop, which I'm assuming it kind of sounded like a gun. They basically got him, took him down, and sat him down on the curb right there. The suspect was caught in this quiet San Pedro neighborhood and taken by ambulance to a local hospital. It's just it's probably some younger people out of control, and uh, that's what we have the police for. They got them under control. And back out here live, police say that that driver was the only one in the truck. It's unclear the extent of his injuries. That's the latest from San Pedro. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Stacey.